Behind me here is a traditional Hawaiian fish pond or a loko ia. The community would build these loko ia by stacking rock to build an additional little pond or kind of like a tide pool habitat. At the mouth of these structures, they would put slatted gates. This would allow larvae to come in and it would also allow juvenile fish to move in and out from the loko ia fish pond. But whenever the fish grew to a size that were desirable to eat, they would get stuck in there. These loco ia provided a resource for the community, but it also had additional benefits for the ecosystem itself. One of the main things is that it would trap sediment that was flowing out from freshwater sources here along the shore, keeping it nice and clear and pristine along the coast. An additional benefit of the loco ia is it would harden the coastline against storms Modern restoration efforts have also added the benefit of oysters to these local EA fish ponds. The oysters are amazing because they can filter out water that's flowing in from freshwater sources. I love to use these local EA as a model or a representation of how humans can actually benefit the ecosystem around us, how we can have a reciprocal relationship with our environment where we collect and gain all of the abundant resources and also how we can help steward our environment, keep it pristine and protect the ecology that we're surrounded by.